back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher, you're inside the stitchery, and I'm so happy you're here today. Today is my haul from the Furl's birthday sale. Whew. So if you don't know already, I failed. I failed my own June challenge. <laughs> Furl's got me. They had such an amazing sale. Now, um, I just want everyone to know I am not an affiliate of Furls. I am not sponsored by Furls. I have nothing to do with Furls other than I just love them. Um, Furls, if you ever want to sponsor me, hey, I'm here. <laughs> but um, I do want to show you guys what I got because it's pretty exciting. You ready? Let's go. So first off, I got this really cute little bag because I bought three of their brand new teal glitter hooks if you bought three you got the birthday bag designed by harrison and um but i got other ones too so all the boxes look the same <laughs> but first let's talk about the thing that i am most excited about i have wanted a candy shop hook for years because it reminds me of my favorite hook if you're new here, this, uh, hi, <laughs> I'm Shannon, and um, I'm very happy you chose this video to watch. And my favorite hook in the whole world is the discontinued Yarnology hook from Hobby Lobby. And it looks like this. And um, it's my favorite hook ever. And the candy shop hooks are similar to that, but not quite. So I always wanted to try one. So 30% off, I got one. Look at the box. It's very different from their other boxes. Look, this is a regular streamlined box. <gasps> Woo, look at all the colors. They do have a color coded system. So you do not get to choose what color your hook is for a candy shop. Candy shops all have color codes. Let's open it. Wow. Look at that. It's so pretty. There we go. Okay, first of all, it's really short. Look, that's my hand. It's really short. But that could be a good thing. I don't know. Well, I got mango, which I think is 6.5. Yeah, and they even mark it on there for you in case you forget. See the little blue dot? There. So this is a 6.5 millimeter hook, but it is really short. Wow. I don't know, maybe I'll like that. I don't know. Well, it's really pretty. It feels really good too. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. I guess we'll wait and see. <laughs> I told you I bought hooks. I have no idea what's in any of these. All the boxes look the same. They are all some kind of streamline, whether that's wood or resin. Okay, this is wood. This is the purple heart. Um, purple heart wood. Wow. There's got to be a better way to show you guys. Hold on. That's really pretty. Look at the carving. It's so smooth. Wow. No imperfections. I can't feel any raw edges. This is really nice. This is a four millimeter and wood is fairly strong. So I'm not too nervous about it being such a small size. They even, I don't know if you can see can you see that little hole? Okay, so they have started doing this. I really like it. That is to protect this tip. 
when shipping. So it goes like that. And uh, I really, really like that new, that new feature. It's better than those little things they used to just wrap around the end. I, I really like this, built into the box, really smart. Okay, next we have, I don't know. <gasps> yes, Borealis. So I got another Borealis hook. This is the one that I like to call my Disney villains hook because <laughs> it reminds me of a Disney villain. Look at that. This is a nine millimeter, I believe. Woo. Look at the end. <sighs> Look at all that green smoke. I love it. Yes, nine millimeter. I see some Halloween slippers in my future. Hmm. This is a part of the Gemini uh, mini collection. Well, it's not a collection. The collection is the Zodiac hooks, but they made two for Gemini because the twins. So they named them Castor and Pollux after the Greek twins. So um, this is Castor in 6.5 or a K. Look at that. Woo! That is one classy hook. Yeah. Love this. Oh, so beautiful. Just the, the black finish, the gold glitter, just, this has to be one of my favorite furls hooks they've designed yet. That and the Pollux, which is the white and gold one, uh, which I also have, but it's upstairs. I don't want to grab it. Those two are probably the classiest hooks they've made yet, in my opinion. You know, there's lots of gorgeous hooks. Okay, this was the, I think, special edition that they made for the birthday sale. This is the teal glitter, and I have four of them here, and they're all different. So if you got three, you got the bag that I showed you at the beginning. But also if you bought three hooks, they have their hook sets back and you got a discount on top of the 30% off. So um, I did that with the Borealis, the caster, and one of the teal glitter, but I kind of wanted the bag. So I had to come back and get three more glitter hooks. <laughs> Here are the teal glitter hooks. They are all different. Isn't that amazing? It's better. Yeah, you can see more blue now. Look at that. See, this one is almost completely clear with like a little bit of glitter. This one right there is, you know, completely full of glitter. It's just so crazy that the same, the same hook, but because it's hand poured, they're all different. Ooh. So I got an H, which is a five. I got a J, which is a six. A seven or an L. And a five and a half. So I got five all the way to seven. Oh, wait. Skipping six and a half, yeah. Because I got a six and a half in the black, the uh, caster, so. Okay, so we've got one hook left before we start the yarn. Here it is. <gasps> wow. This is Pollux of the Gemini collection. White and gold, look at that. So beautiful, look at the tip. Oh, it's so pretty. This is a I or five and a half. Feels so good, so smooth. Wow. I love this collection, this 
mini collection inside a collection, the Castor and Pollux hooks. I may have to get a set. I'm telling you, these hooks are so gorgeous. Might become my new favorite streamlines. They are so beautiful. Ugh. Way to go, Furls. Way to go. Okay, so that was all the hooks. Now the yarn. This is all the yarn. <laughs> There's a lot. So, um, hope you have something to drink and eat. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have several packages here. I got these all for a specific project, and then a couple I got just because I got this yarn for a really good deal, so I decided to just get every color, you know? At least one in every color. Um, so I have a lot here. I'm not gonna go through every single color. Most of the colors I already like reviewed on another video, which I will link down below in the description box, and you can really look at the yarn up close and everything. Okay, this first one we have all by itself. <laughs> is um garnet it's a really pretty deep rich red color and that was a garnet okay got another red here and this is pomegranate so pomegranate go and you can see the difference between the two if you like. See how this one's much more deep red color? So okay I was gonna do this in some kind of order but I guess I'm not. So this is obsidian which is a black color. Very pretty. Okay next we have cobblestone. This one is Foundry, as in Crochet Foundry, the magazine. <laughs> it's kind of a blue-gray. I like it. This one is Mist. I've had this one before. I really, I really like this one. It's like a silver gray. Woo! and it's called Mist. I like this one too. I think this one's Moonbeam. Yeah, Moonbeam. Not really pretty color. I'll show you the difference between the two. This is Mist, this is Moonbeam. Look at that. This one's more silver, I think. This one's more gray. So pretty. These are not anti-pilling, but I do believe these are low pilling. So, um, I still like them. <laughs> Alabaster. I think this is just white. Pretty sure. In fact, I'll show you the next one, which is similar, but it's not the same. And you can see how this one is a bit different. This one is snow. See, it's got a bit of a yellow hue. Like that, and then this is alabaster. So yeah, definitely a difference. This is more like an antique white. Or even an ivory. Yeah. That's the same one, I got two of those. <laughs> Okay, this is Fawn. Very pretty light brown. This is Sandbar. the difference between the two, sandbar and fawn. Okay. Next is thatch, as in a thatch roof. 
That's a really pretty color. I like that a lot. Next is Ambrosia. Highly underrated band. <laughs> if you got that reference, let me know in the comments. I'm very curious. We have a dark brown here, mahogany. Look at that. Okay, my kind of makes my mahogany look a little more red in my camera, but it's a lot more brown. Anyway, Coco. Okay, so we've got this yellow color, Canary. Kind of a mustard yellow meets lime yellow. <laughs> I'm not really sure what color this is, but it's very pretty. Campfire. Ooh, look at that color. That is bright. And it's a lot brighter in person. This is a bright color. This is very nice. I like this orange a lot. And then this one's even brighter. This is marmalade. So I'll show you the two together. Look at that. Oh yeah. Those were made for each other. And then last in our orange family is Sunrise. And it's almost pink. Almost. Yep. Moving on to pinks and purples. Got quite a few here, so that's fun. This is Dragon Fruit. It's an unusual color. This one's similar, so I think I'll show you these two next to each other. This color is Darling. Pretty. Now look at it next to the dragon fruit. Interesting. Okay, I really like this one. This one is Velvet. It's really luscious. Oh yes. Yes, please. How gorgeous is that? So this is velvet. Orchid. Yeah, that's a fun one. Another fun one is this one. This one is, um, festival <laughs> hot pink that it is so bright it is probably the brightest one they make look at that Woo! can you say barbie <laughs> oh yeah wow this is bergamot as in the tea i guess or the flower something. That's a really pretty, very light purple. That's lovely. And then last in our pink purple category, we have Aurora. Even though we all know she wore blue. since we're about to go into the blues. Fun fact, Disney actually created Cinderella's dress as a silver dress. Um, later on, the illustrations got updated into blue. We're not really sure how that happened. But the reason that Aurora's dress is pink and blue in Sleeping Beauty is because even the animators couldn't decide what color, but eventually chose the blue one. Anyway, one day, some animator decided to put Cinderella in blue, but Aurora was in blue, so they decided to make Aurora in pink since she already had a pink option in her movie. Then in 1989, Ariel came along and they gave her a pink dress, 
So now for all the licensing and merchandise, what do we do? Well, let's give her a green dress she's never even worn in the movie. So actually, Aurora is the only princess to truly have a blue dress as her official dress. Fun fact. This is Caspian. So, pink or blue, which team are you on? Tundra. This one is really pretty for winter. This is Surf. Woo, look at that fun green. This one is Agave. Sprout. I really like this one. We have Winter Mint. It's a really super light green. I know, it's very hard to see, but I'll hold it next to the alabaster and that'll help you. So now you can kind of see the, the green hue that's slightly in there. It's very pretty. And last but not least, we have Meadow. If you would like to see that next to Sprout, here you go. This is Sprout. So there you go. Oh, and I got a cute little birthday magnet. Yay! Okay, that was huge. And I'm so happy you're still sitting here with me <laughs> and still watching this video. That was a huge haul. But thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my wonderful channel. I'm so happy. I love all my subscribers. It We have fun over here. We really do. We have fun. Please turn on your notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you watched all the way to the end of this video, give me a... Well, you know, we bought a lot of yarn, so how about a yarn ball emoji somewhere in the comments section? If you cannot find the yarn ball emoji, you can always write the word yarn somewhere in the comments section uh, in all caps. So, Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. Um, tell me what your favorite color of yarn was and which hook did you like the best? Are you going to get any of these when their sale comes around again? Let me know. Remember, life happens, yarn helps, and Spoonies can stitch it up too. Bye.